to open the hospital here in Brookhaven. So first of all, we should let everybody know that the hospital is actually open for business. So let's gonna get the sign down. And let's gonna type in hospital. Hold on, hold on. Open. Boom, dude. Okay, perfect. Let's gonna go in here and see if any patients are gonna arrive or not. Oh, look at this, dude. We got a guy who's arriving. And what is he holding, dude? What is that, bro? I don't even know what he's holding. It's kind of weird, dude. Hey, I can eat some help. Yeah, and what's wrong, sir? Can you please tell me your symptoms? I have a headache all the time. Okay, let's go, go ahead and get you checked out. Follow me, sir. Follow me. Okay, so he's saying he got a headache all the time. Not really sure for how long he's had a headache, but yeah, let's go to see him jump into the x-ray machine here and see what's wrong with this guy. Can you hold this while I'm in the x-ray machine? Sure, dude. Okay, not really sure what I'm gonna hold, but it's a weird little machine and it's kind of beeping, dude. Maybe it's the machine that is causing his headache. I'm not really sure, bro. Maybe it's like radioactive and stuff like that. I don't know, dude. It seems kind of weird. Not really sure what this little machine is built for. And look at that. It got some head trauma. Alrighty, I guess it's a light concussion. Okay, sir. Well, it looks like you got a light concussion. So follow me. You're gonna need to rest. And I'm gonna hold your little machine thing because I think it's not gonna help you, dude. There we go. He's going to be laying down in the bed now and he has to relax for a little bit. Okay, thanks, doc. Yeah, no worries, man. Okay, let's gonna pull the curtains to give this guy some privacy and yeah, let's go to ditch this little machine, bro. It's giving me a headache, man. I even like it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is that I am gonna equip the hospital job. I'm gonna equip the phone and I think I'm actually going to be responding to calls and stuff for now. The hospital is looking quite quiet now and also I should probably go ahead and change my outfit to the EMS outfit because now we're going to be driving the ambulance and we're going to respond to calls and yeah, hopefully help people out here in Brookhaven today. I'm not really sure how busy it's going to be but yeah, let's go and hope for the best, dude. So let's go and grab this one. We're gonna need that and let's gonna grab some vitamins because we are gonna need some vitamins for the patients and stuff like that and what other tools do we need maybe this one that is a great tool and yeah even this one so we can kind of hear the heart rhythm and the lungs and everything okay perfect dude let's gonna go out for a little patrol and dude we're getting a call okay that was kind of quick to be honest all right let's gonna jump into the uh, ambulance and let's gonna uh, turn on the emergency lights and the emergency sirens and let's gonna respond to this call right here all right let's gonna keep on going and bro is the truck in the middle of the road okay we just had to swerve that truck right there holy cow dude and the call is coming from yeah kind of behind that uh, rock right there uh over by the runway okay it's not too far away but let's go to see what we got here and dude it seems like this is gonna be like a car crash oh yeah dude we got a car crash over here let's go ahead and turn off the sirens and see what's going on we're gonna make sure that this dude is uh yeah he's actually well hey sir what happened here my man oh dude he looks a little bit confused man or maybe it is head i feel dizzy i crashed i see sir well you will get some help now so let's gonna get this guy into a stretcher we just gotta get uh, get the stretcher from the back of the ambulance and let's gonna get him up on the stretcher and let's just go ahead and get him back off the ambulance real quick there we go and we're gonna close up the doors and also let's go ahead and grab a fire extinguisher real quick oh dude what happened there okay anyways let's go ahead and grab a fire extinguisher real quick and put out this car fire right here because it's not really good that a car is burning this close to the airport that's kind of like a security hazard so there we go we put out the fire. We're transporting this patient over here, over to the hospital. We can go to turn on the emergency lights again. No, I mean the sirens. Just so people kind of get notified that we are around the corner here. And I think I'm just going to be taking a right turn up here. That should lead us pretty close over to the hospital. And yeah, I guess we can take a left over here. There we go. And we are going to be arriving over here by the arrival places. Okay, perfect. Let's go to park the ambulance right there. Let's go to open up the back again. Get the stretcher. Perfect. And we got to bring this uh, patient in for an x-ray. So let's gonna drop him off in the x-ray bed right there. And yeah, let's gonna bring you in for a little scan. We're gonna make sure that we know what's wrong with this guy. Okay, let's gonna see. The x-ray is soon finished. Let's gonna make sure that we know where he's actually hurting. And let's gonna get him back onto the stretcher. Okay, so it seems like he uh, got some fractured ribs. His hip is a little messed up and his knees. But his head doesn't look too bad. So that's great. He said he felt a little bit dizzy, but I guess that's just the impact from the crash and maybe it's stressed out and stuff who knows the heart rhythm seems normal okay that's great to see it let's gonna check his ears you know we're gonna check his sinuses and stuff like that make sure that it doesn't have any internal bleedings okay seems good seems good seems good let's gonna start operating on this guy maybe bandage him up and stuff like that there we go and boom dude okay it's bandaged let's gonna put him back on the stretcher and we are just going to be bringing him over to the resting rooms he has been going through a lot today so let's go ahead and uh, yeah put him down to rest a little I feel better now. 
now. Yeah, but uh, sir, you gotta stay here for a couple of days. You're gonna need some rest, okay? So after a couple of days, you will be uh, able to get written off. Yes, Doc. Okay, so he's saying he's feeling better already. That is great, dude. Okay, so perfect. We just uh, got another patient and yeah, he's safe. He's going to be better after a couple of days. Okay, because car crashes are no fun, man. They can be pretty serious, but luckily it wasn't that serious this time around. So yeah, I'm quite happy about that. Let's just go ahead and patrol around the city and see if anybody's gonna need some help around here. Not really sure. We do got a big truck right there, but yeah. Dude, if I were a cop right now, I would have given him a citation, bro. You can't park there, man. Come on, you can't park on the sidewalk like that. So yeah, guys, we are just gonna continue on the patrol right here and see if we can go to find any patients and stuff like that. We are still on the road looking to see if we can go to help anybody out. Who knows, man? Maybe somebody's gonna need help. And bro, I'm getting a call and it's from over the mountain. Uh-oh, dude, that is like so far away. We are gonna need a helicopter for that. We can't drive an ambulance up on a mountain like that. So let's gonna go over to the police station and borrow a helicopter real quick. Let's just gonna go and jump into this helicopter. Let's gonna change their library to rescue though. There we go. Now we got that rescue helicopter and we're gonna bring this up to the mountain real quick. So let's go, let's go, let's go. And I'm not really sure how serious this call is. So yeah, I'm kind of wondering how serious this will be. And dude, I see a flare popping off there and let's gonna find a safe landing spot. Are we safe to land there? I don't know. We do kind of got like a hill here. Not really sure if we can jump out. Yeah, okay. We're actually safe to land. Perfect. Hey, sir, what's wrong with you, my man? I can't feel my legs. Okay, so this guy can't feel his legs, which is terrible. Let's gonna get him a stretcher and get him inside of the helicopter real quick. There we go. Okay, not really sure what happened. Maybe it's just cold. I hope that it's just cold. So yeah, let's gonna bring this dude over to the hospital, though. If you can't feel your legs, that's kind of serious, dude. So yeah, we're gonna bring this dude over to the hospital and let's just go ahead and land the uh, ambulance helicopter here in the parking lot real quick. And you know what? Let's gonna put some cones around the helicopter just so nobody crashes into it. Okay, there we go. We got some cones around the helicopter. Let's gonna get this dude in a stretcher again. And should we bring him in for x-ray? You know what? I think we should actually bring him in for x-ray just to make sure that he's okay. Alrighty, he's soon finished with the x-ray. We're just waiting for him to come out. And yeah, what's wrong with this guy? Oh, dude, he got a lot of internal stuff going on. Okay, uh, yeah, it seems like his ribs are kind of messed up. I think he's pretty, uh, yeah, I think he's pretty tired, actually. Let's gonna bring him into the operating table, though. We gotta bandage this guy up. Dude got some scratches and stuff on his legs, so let's gonna get that fixed up real quick. There we go. Let's gonna bandage him up, and yeah, put him back into the stretcher and get him into a resting room. Okay, you will be able to get out tomorrow, sir, but for now, you're just gonna rest in the bed for a little bit. I uh, hope that is okay. Yeah! Yep, okay, so just uh, lay on the bed there, relax a little bit, and yeah, you'll be able to get out tomorrow, and uh, boom, there we go, we just rescued yet another dude. Holy cow, that has actually been a pretty hectic day working over by the hospital today here in Brookhaven, but a really, really fun one as well. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode, I really hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, make sure to hit the like, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.